Hi everybody, welcome back with another video about it. In today's video, we're going to see like how you can uh, use ChatGPT API that has been recently launched by an OpenAI. And it's a kind of a 10 times cheaper than an actual uh, text DaVinci uh, 3.5 model. I mean text DaVinci GD3 model and 3.5. So let's see how you can use it uh, in your application. So here uh, I have two files. It's a index.html and a script.js. Uh, I am using vanilla javascript right now to build this entire thing because it will give you sort of like a better understanding of how thing works okay because uh, after that uh, fundamental will, fundamentals will be the same so you can apply it anywhere wherever you feel like okay so let's see uh, how you can build it so uh let me just uh, create a boiler plate first of all and let me give let me name this gpt chat gpt and uh here uh, what we will uh, first of all we will uh, add one h1 and its name and its name will be a uh, chat gpt okay so first of all uh, let me uh, tell you this thing uh, that this is not going to be like a fully functional chat gpt sort of video it just uh it, it is just uh it is just to give you an idea like how things works behind the scene and how you can use this api uh to empower your application Okay, so that is the main idea, that's the main whole purpose of this video. So, uh, let me also define an empty div, and this uh, idea of this will be result of GPT. Okay, so by default, this will be empty, and whenever we will get the result, we will basically try to fill this data here. Okay, so that's the only thing that's the only thing that we are going to do, and nothing more than that in simple word. Okay uh so let's define a fetch request we are we will be using fetch here and the uh, endpoint to uh use that uh basically endpoint for that new chat gpt api is https dot uh this and api dot open ai dot com if i'm not wrong and there's a v1 and there's chat and there's a completion completion thing uh just to make sure just to make sure like uh, let me let me confirm this first row uh, api uh, open ai api reference okay so if i will go here and inside this uh, create completion not a con so we are not we, we are not using this one completion this is one of the powerful and like a uh, one of the powerful basically uh, api but uh, we are not going to use this one or we are going to use the chat one and this is uh, basically a model uh, used behind a chat gpt application itself okay so that's so uh, that's the thing that we are going to use and it's currently in beta so sometimes it doesn't work so yeah don't get bothered by that so this is the model name and let me if i'm not wrong so if i if i will copy this one and i think this one should work and uh, let me first of all check uh, if i've written uh, this uh, correct like this endpoint and sorry for background noise if there is any uh, background noise coming from my side because i cannot do anything about that and yeah let's see also oh, this is the https api open dot open ei dot com v1 chat completions and i think i've written it correctly completions but yeah maybe if there is any word which i have misspelled so just to get 100 percent sure just to be 100 percent sure let me just copy and paste this here and uh let's paste this here i think yeah i think i've made i've made i had made a mistake because i felt that something has changed okay so and after that we will define our you know on the rest of the parameters like the first will be the method I think it's a post, so there is no doubt with that. Post, and there will be uh, headers as well. In headers, we will have two things: uh, content type, which will be the application dot application dot JSON. After that, there will be an authorization section, which will be bearer plus our token. And uh, if you don't know uh, like uh, what this token is, like uh, you have to obtain this token from like an official website of no OpenAI. Uh, right now I've, i'm logged in here here you can see so if you haven't logged in just go there like this is the platform.openai.com uh check this uh i will put the link in the description uh, go there and just create an account and 
here after that like uh, here in uh, when we will click on uh, profile section you will see an uh, option which says uh, which goes like a uh, view api keys and click on this one and after that uh, you have to create a new secret key basically okay by default there will be no secret key in your case if you are a new user because i've already used this application uh, multiple times in different uh, i've used it in different i've used it in different sort of applications so that's why i have these sort of these amount of api keys okay so just click on create key and after that it will generate a new api key for you uh, copy this and uh, and install it somewhere because after uh because once you click on ok and after that you will not you will not be able to retrieve that token back the only way to get token again is to create you have to click on basically you have to create a new secret key okay so let me just assign const uh token equal to this okay so now what we'll be doing uh we will be defining our parameters so this is the body part i think if i'm not wrong yeah it's a request body although i'll i'll explain like what it is it, what it is like what are the things but i think if i'm not wrong then this one should uh, be inside data and there should be json um let me stringify this thing and yeah that's how it will be so first of all let me explain this a little bit like uh, so, the, so the model we are using is a gpt 3.5 turbo which is like a very new and recent one and uh, also chat gpt is using according to them like a chat gpt is also also chat gpt is also using the same model okay and after that like uh, we have a messages section inside that uh, you can have multiple uh, format data multiple data in this format so that you can maintain the continuity basically okay so like how our chat was going on okay so this is the, this this is what it is and here uh, inside this like uh, each object uh, either it could be like a user tool or system initially uh, system is the basically a thing uh, where you say where you define it like a uh, how to act okay so if you will uh, inside if you will uh, define a system like uh, if, if you'll assign a rule as a system system then inside that uh, content you have to define like how you want your application to act if you will say like uh, act like a doctor then it will uh, answer you according to that if you will say like you are a math teacher then it will answer and tailor his on tailor its answer according to that okay so that's the uh, main purpose of system so, although it's not optional so if in so if you don't want to use that that's totally fine and there's another thing which is like a rule a user so this is the basically a main thing and here inside a content you will be defining your prompt so this is the kind of a prompt part where you will be saying like uh, who is Elon Musk if I'm not wrong okay so that's how and uh, after that uh, so this is the basically the prompt part okay so whenever you want to ask any question from a user then uh, basically uh, whatever the user is asking you have to put this here and this will generate a response and the response that you will get uh, basically it will be in the format uh, where a role will be assistant okay so all of the answers basically role of all of the answers are in assistant format basically assistant is, assistant is replying to your answer okay i know like it's a kind of complicated but it's not at all so let me just show you by an example so i've defined here like a who's elon musk and here is a role I've defined which is a user okay so now if i run this i think i hope i am not missing anything else okay so let me just also like uh, insert this data here result of gpt okay so let me just uh, gpt l let me just store this element somewhere get element dot element by id and result of gpt and uh I think I have to like uh, define it somewhere on top so that I can like call it right after once I once we get our data from fetch request response and this one should be response our result will be inside response.json and now we can use it but first of all let's see uh, how uh, we get the response 
in what in which format we get response basically uh, so this is the format of response so here is our main object and inside that there is a choice inside that uh, there is an array and we will we will be selecting the first item of this array which is like this part and we will be selecting messages message section of it and even inside a message there will be a content section that we will be selecting okay so uh, let's try to do this okay so it's a gptl and inner text i'm just gonna insert text for now okay because it is just to give you an idea like how you can use it okay so nothing more than that so result dot uh, choices dot zero i mean like first index and dot message and dot content okay and uh, just by doing this i think this one should work perfectly i hope i'm not missing anything at all uh, yeah the one thing that I, I missed is like i haven't linked it yet we also have to like a link you know link our script file the script src equal to and this will be like our current script dot js and this will be yeah and i think now it's fine and now i'm gonna like run this server and let me see if it's working correctly so here uh, it is saying like the server response has responded with then 400 request so maybe uh i have done some mistake okay so i found uh my error like where it was so this is a basically uh, we were defining data where where uh, like it should be a body okay because in fetch uh, uh there is a body there's no data part so i mistyped it not mistyped it but i didn't know like i forgot basically you know because as i said like it's been a while and it's been a while since i used it that's why uh, so just to replace it with body and i think this one should uh, work fine there's one more thing there's one more error that uh, which i would like to tell you is like uh, this response dot json itself is a promise which means like a uh, it waits you know it, it, it is it's, it's something that uh, a synchronous function sort of thing okay so we have to wrap this wrap this inside our dot then as well so just return this okay and uh, then whatever data we will get uh, we will basically uh, print that inside here gpt.l inner text so this is all like a fess uh, method related thing also if you know it you know it if you don't know it you can do it in different way you know like you can use actuals in your application however you feel like uh, it is just like a headache of these fetch method because it's been a while when I, while i it's been a while since i used it so that's why it's taking too much time right now so uh, now what we're going to do like uh, we will take this data and uh, inside that uh, we'll be we will take our choices and here at geoth position uh, there will be a message basically this is the format of uh, our you know result okay so this is the data inside that there is a choices and inside that it's an array of object and we will be selecting our first object inside that okay so this is the sorry this is the completion part so here it is so here uh our we have a choices inside that we have an object inside that we will be selecting this message section inside that uh we will select this content part okay so we are at like a message and we're, all we need to do is like dot content so now after this everything goes smooth like if there is no if we don't face any problem then i think it should work let me just save it and let me go back to this and let's see if it's working or not okay so so yeah here you can see it is saying Elon Musk is a billionaire entrepreneur inventor engineer so yeah blah blah whatever you can say so which means it's working perfectly fine and uh if i change this prompt to something else like uh uh tell me good things about india let's see if it works this time or not 
because uh, right now uh, I've faced uh, like multiple times like uh, there is a issue with network like uh, because a lot of people are using this model right now so that's why sometimes it is it might take some time basically sometimes basically that if I'll go in inside a network tab maybe just let me refresh this for now yeah here you can see oh so basically it, it was generating uh, like a long content so that's why it took so many time so here you can see like we have a multiple things like cultural diversity historical and arctic architectural wonders natural beauty spiritualism food art and literature technology festivals and celebrations and all sort of thing so that's how you can use like basically chat gpt api and there's one more uh, recommendation for you like uh, with this feature you can maintain a continuity as well okay so whatever response you get uh, whatever the response you get just try to like this data dot choices and the first part like a, at zero induction whatever the result will be just push this data inside this one okay basically store this uh, variable somewhere and push this data inside this one so that uh, a continuity will be maintained so from next time uh, whenever you will search something it will have uh, the context of the masses i'm not going to do that because this video will be too long in that case yeah so that's how you can like use gpt api that has been recently launched by an open ai and i hope you just like like this video if you liked it then don't forget to hit the bell icon subscribe to this channel uh, i'll show you in the next video for then goodbye